having text behind something. That's what I'm going to show you in this tutorial. So right now, this is what I have right here, a person walking in front of the text. So let's start from scratch. So this is the video file. And then we need a text file, which was somewhere around here. And then we need the video file again. So we're going to press Alt and then drag it up on this third video track. Right. So I'm going to make sure that it starts where I want it to start. So somewhere around here, let's have a look. And I see that we need to go back a few frames more and the text is up here. So I'm just going to drop it down with the position. There you go. And I want to make it more visible because of this light. So I'm going to the title menu and then I'm going to drag down a little bit and then increase the stroke. So it's much more visible that way. I'm going to reactivate the video track and now it's gone because this video track is on top of the text, but I want to make it visible. So for that, we need to select this video track and go to the color tab and make sure that you have the right video track selected. So not the text tr track or the track beneath it just the right video track on top of it. All I want to do right now is mask this person out. And if I mask this out, that means that everything else is going to be not visible, which means that everything beneath it will be visible, which means that the text will become visible and the track beneath it, which has all of the other features, right? So I'm going to create a mask by using this window and then the pen tool. And then I'm going to drag a mask around this person. And you don't want to go all the way over here because that won't look good. So make sure it's as tight as possible. Same goes for the front. There we go. And then once we're done, we're going to click the first point, which means that it will connect this. And now we've got this little mask, right? We need to track it. So for that, we got the tracker window. We need to set a keyframe, and then I'm going to press track forward and not track forward one frame, but track forward the entire clip. And I'm going to keep an eye on this mask and I want it to last the way it is right now, at least till after the text. So let's click it, see what happens. This is good. This is good. Okay. That was good enough. So now it is tracked throughout the entire clip, but we didn't see the text appear, which means that we need to add in one more feature, which is the right mouse button and then add alpha output and then connect this blue dot to this blue point over here. And now you see the text appearing with the person in front of it. Now the text, this is funny. The mask isn't low enough, which means that this looks very, very ugly. So there's two things I can do. I can change the mask, but in this case, for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just going back to the edit tab, I'm going to select the text and I'm going to move it up a little bit. And now it's fully masked and that looks a lot better. So here's the text. We're going to call this sunset. And now if I play the clip, this person is walking in front of the text just the way we like it. And that's it. If you want to learn more about DaVinci Resolve, please click that playlist right there. For now, my name is Rick Richardson. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Doei!